Hello there. I was hoping I could talk to you today. We were hoping to talk to you today about Leap Year. Can we talk to you about Leap Year? Yeah, sure. Am I going to be on TV? You might be. Oh, hey, Mom. Some simple questions. Okay. In a common year, yeah. in a normal year, we have how many days? 264. You were a little off on the first number and a little off on the back number. 360. Yes! Uh, yes! I can't remember. I would say 365. <laughs> but you wouldn't say it with confidence, would you? 365 days. Correct. Then in a leap year, we have how many days? 366. Bingo. Now we're rolling. So let me ask you this. Do you know why we have leap years? I don't, no. I, I don't, actually. No. You never thought about it? No. Do you care to know the answer? Sure. Can I explain it for you right now? Yes. Here we go. In a common year, we have 365 days because that's roughly how long it takes the Earth to orbit the sun. We have to say roughly, though, because it actually takes the Earth 365 days plus about another six hours to complete that circular path. So to keep our timing as accurate as possible, we add up the extra six hours a year every four years and we put those combined 24 hours on the calendar in the form of a leap day. Now, here's where it gets a little more tricky. Technically, the extra time it takes Earth to orbit around the sun each year is actually a few minutes shy of those six hours we just talked about. So to account for those minutes, we skip the whole leap year practice when we reach a century year, unless the century year can be divided by 400. Huh? In other words, the century years 1800 and 1900 were not leap years, and the year 2100 will also not be a leap year, but the year 2000, you may remember, was a leap year. Does that all make sense? A little bit, yeah. I think so. I guess. Um, sure. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's really a very good explanation. Well, thank you. We, we appreciate that answer. <laughs>